Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wine with Jimmy channel. I'm your host, Jimmy Smith, and welcome to a series on great varieties of the world. If you have a fascination about a specific grape variety, you'll find the information you need here, like key characteristics, key aromas and flavors, and of course, where it is found. If you are studying the likes of WSET Level 3, then this is really useful as refreshers because it follows the syllabus very closely. Let's look at all things Garganiga, wonderful named grape variety from the Venetian part of Italy. So first up, we talk about its key characteristics. Now it's the main grape variety in Suave, and there are small amounts of other grape varieties which are typically blended into it, hence why we have this used for blending here on the right-hand side. Uh, you'll find some expressions will go through lee stirring, but actually most wines are made in stainless steel. Now we find the wines having medium to high levels of acidity. So that's medium plus, that's four blocks out of five on this chart. Medium body, that's in the middle there, three out of five, and a moderate alcohol. What would you expect in terms of aromas and flavors? So the wines will display characteristics like pear, red apple, stone fruit, and sometimes white pepper. They do not typically display characters of new oak, though some of the more premium examples are matured in barrels. They tend to be larger formats and older oak. The very best expressions of Garganiga will age really gracefully, gaining these kind of almond and honeyed characteristics. Where are we looking? Well, of course, we're looking at the nation of Italy, and we're going to the northeast, to the Venetian province, right up here, as you can see, outlined and filled in with purple. So we're going to that area to focus on, of course, the land of Suave. Let's take a look. So Suave is just to the east of Verona, about half an hour, and it has two distinct parts to it. It has the foothills to the north, which are kind of beyond the castello here, the castle in, in this picture. So this is kind of all of this uh, sort of um, green, dark green area, as you can see. And these will be labeled as Suave Classico DOC. And then there, towards the main road, there is a flat plain in that southern section towards the River Po. This is generic Suave, so labeled as Suave DOC, so without the Classico. Now, the soils on the foothills are made up of limestone and clay with some volcanicity, some volcanic influence. The soils are naturally cool, and together with the little bit of raised altitude as you go into the foothills, it slows down ripening, leading to grapes with full flavor, yet this wonderful high acidity. The wines are here capable of aging for considerable amount of years. Now, the vines that are found on the plains in the southern section are planted on sandy, alluvial soils that aid ripening. So the grapes are fruitier with medium acidity, and they're generally meant to be drunk young. That brings me to the end of this short burst recap video on Garganiga from Veneto in Italy. If you have any comments or questions, please do get in touch. I'd like to know what your favorite producer is. Maybe you've tried Pierapan, of course. Uh, maybe you've been to the region, you've walked up to the Castello, and you've enjoyed many of the restaurants of the old town. Please do get in touch. But until next time, I've been Jimmy Smith. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.